Now, let's discuss key quotations and word level analysis to do when it comes to the character of Claudio. Now, do bear in mind that he is one of the main characters in Much Ado About Nothing. He is presented as an honorable soldier. He's, of course, the friend of Don Pedro, Leonardo. Now, on the one hand, he is presented and shown by Shakespeare as someone who easily falls in love. He's love struck, maybe almost a little bit too quick to fall in love. So his actions maybe could also be interpreted as a little bit impetuous when he decides, you know, he falls in love with Hero and then decides to get married to her very quickly. However, on the other hand, his reaction in both believing Don John's lies and his slander of Hero, as well as how horrible he is to Hero on their wedding day, on their first wedding, shows that he can also be very hurtful and he's also a little bit gullible, okay? So when it comes to Claudio's character, these are the main quotations to remember from the entire play, particularly if you are studying his character as part of your assessments, if you're writing about him as part of your exams. And of course, obviously these are key quotations to remember mainly for Claudio's character. Do make sure you check out my other videos where I'll go over the other main characters, okay? So what I'll do is I will go through each quotation and show you what word level analysis you can do when analyzing these key quotations. So let's begin with the first quote where he uh, first sees Hero and he instantly falls for her. He states, is she not a modest young lady? Now, in terms of word level analysis here to do, it's of course a rhetorical question, so that's a structural point you can make, but of course also the descriptions, the adjectives that Claudio has of Hero, modest, young, this idea of her being, you know, this typical, beautiful, but also very, very modest Elizabethan woman. This obviously shows that Hero really fo follows the ideals of what is expected of Elizabethan women during this time. So you can see here that Claudio really, really falls in love with her very, very quickly. The other quotation to bear in mind, and this is still tied into when Claudio does fall in love with Hero, is he asks, can the world buy such a jewel? And again, this is a rhetorical question. The hyperbole, the world, again, shows that Hero is just so amazing. Is it, you know, is it possible for any money in the world to even buy her hand in marriage? Again, bear in mind contextually, there was something called dowry, which was the payment in exchange for a woman's hand in marriage. So of course, also this is a reference to the dowry. And he's saying, you know, is there enough money that can pay dowry for someone as beautiful and as modest and perfect as Hero. The third quotation to bear in mind with Claudio's character is, this is after he has been successfully tricked by Don John into believing that Hero was unfaithful to him on the night before their wedding. He states, let every eye negotiate for itself, ellipsis, for beauty is a witch. Now here we can see that Claudio is a little bit gullible. He's so quick to believe Don John. And we can see here he's really, really angry. In other words, he's renouncing his love for Hero. And he's basically saying, you know, uh, there's no such thing as love. It's every man for himself. That's what he's stating here. Now, the word level analysis you want to do is firstly the assonance of E in every I. And of course, also when he talks about how Hero's beauty misguided him, he states beauty is a witch, which is a metaphor. Basically, he's stating that, you know, Hero, through her appearance basically deceived him into falling in love with her but actually he misjudged her character. The other quotation to remember for his character is when he states and this is now when he's telling Lenato he does not want to marry Hero after he has slandered her he states give not this rotten orange to your friend. So here he is incensed and he's really really angry and he's actually very hurtful when he's talking of Hero as a rotten orange. He's basically saying that she's not a virgin, she's not pure as he had believed and he's telling Lenato take back your daughter, I don't want her. Now the word level analysis you want to do here is firstly the assonance of O in not, orange to in your, and the metaphor rotten orange, which of course is a very, very sexist thing to say about a woman. But equally, of course, this shows that Claudio can be very hurtful and very resentful. The other quotation to bear in mind with his character is when he then realizes that uh, the what he was told about Hero was completely untrue and he believes at this stage that Hero has died. 
he feels really sad, he seems repentant when he states, done to death by slanderous tongues, was the hero that here lies, okay? Now here, the word level analysis you want to do mainly is the alliteration of done and death. And of course, what this is showing is that he feels very remorseful about his actions. He can't believe that he talked to Hero in that way and of course, ultimately led to her death. But of course, we know that she's not dead. The other quotation to bear in mind with his character is when Lenato basically states that he forgives him, but states that he now has to marry his niece. Now, here, Claudio, again, he's really repentant. He's really thankful. He's telling Lenato, I'm so, so sorry. Your over kindness doth wring tears from me. Now, this is an exclamatory sentence. This is a structural point you want to make, okay? So here, when he's speaking in this exclamatory sentence, we can see that Claudio is actually very, very repentant. And he's basically just telling Lenato, I can't thank you enough for forgiving me you know, I'm happy to marry your niece, okay? Anything that will make you happy because of course it's me that caused this uh, problem, this mess. Also the other word love analysis you want to do here is of course the pronoun your when he's referring to Lenato. Again, what we can see here is Claudio actually is a, you know, he does have dignity. He also has enough self-knowledge to reflect on himself and reflect on his misdeeds and say that he's gonna try and make it right. Now, the final quotation is when the masked woman reveals herself to be Hero and he's really, really happy. So Claudia is really happy that Hero is not dead, but also he can marry her. So he states to her, give me your hand before this holy friar. I am your husband, if you like of me. Now here, firstly, what you want to do is to talk about the structural point where he's talking to her and basically commanding. He's speaking in an imperative sentence. He really wants to marry her. He says, give me your hand, okay? So this is an imperative sentence. Also, in terms of word level analysis, you want to talk about also the alliteration of H in hand and holy, okay? What this is emphasizing is how much Claudio wants to marry uh, Hero. He's now in love with her again. The final thing you want to talk about is of course the repetition of the possessive pronoun your okay so you've got your hair as well as your hair okay and now the possessive pronoun this repetition shows that claudio really really basically wants to um hero to forgive him but also he's really really keen on marriage with her okay so that's it when it comes to key quotations remember for claudio's character